Okay, here I am at Rock Springs. And I thought today to talk about the Bible, what books could have been included, um, what books were included that aren't of the 66 that we were are used to, because if you recall, there was a hundred books originally when the Bible was rendered into English for the first time, and this is obviously one big, big church, but the Anna Gignoscomia, you have the Book of Tobit, you have Judith, you have the Wisdom of Solomon, you have the Wisdom of Jesus, Ben Sira, or Ben Sirach, you have Baruch, you have the Letter of Jeremiah, you have the Prayer as that of Azarias, you have the story of Susanna, you have Bell and the Dragon, you have Esther 10 4 through 16 24, or A 1 through 7, you have 1st Maccabees, you have 2nd Maccabees, you have Esdras, you have the Odes, you know, Psalm 151, and the Prayer of Anassus. Uh, prayer of Daniel. You have Second Esdras. You have Baruch and the Epistle of Jeremy. You have the Book of Wisdom and the Pseudo Epigrapha. You have the Gospel of the Ebionites and you have the Gospel of the Hebrews, the Gospel of the Nazarene. The Gospel of Marcion, the Gospel of Manny, the Gospel of Apelles, the Gospel of Bardesanus, the Gospel of Basilides, the Gospel of Thomas, you have the Gospel of Peter's, Peter, you have the Diatetesseron, you have the Gospel of Nicodemus. You have the resurrection of Jesus Christ according to Bartholomew. You have the questions of Bartholomew. You have the pseudo Lyril of Jerusalem, you know, the life and passion of Christ. And this is one big church we're we got here. Oh, and the Suda Epigrapha is before, not this Gospel of Ebonite stuff. Um, you got Fourth Maccabees, Third Maccabees, the Vision of Ezra, the Prayer of Jacob, the Prayer of Joseph. The Odes of Solomon, the history of Joseph, El Dadan Madad, the history of Rechabites. You have the history of the captivity in Babylon, Janus and Jambres, the later, of, the latter of Jacob, the lives of the prophets, the life of Adam. Eve, Joseph and Aseneth, martyrdom and ascension of Isaiah, the martyrdom of Aris Pias, the letter of Aris Pias, the apocalypse of Moses, the apocalypse of Abraham, and there were a lot of other ones that could have been included in the Bible that weren't. But
the Bible actually lists and hints at lost books. I think there's 74 that you can say. Um, but why were, I mean, how can it be put to an editing process if it's the Word of God? Um, and obviously, if some books were not included or they had to sit down and think about it, obviously they didn't know what books were. But if they were being honest about it, they would say, well, we don't really know. So let's, you know, let's list these and say these are possible sources that you may want to refer to. Because all of these actually do make it into some church doctrine or another. And I am circling back around through here. And this is one big, big church complex here. Rock Springs here. Um, and, you know, I guess I don't need to make a whole 15 minute tour or something, do I? Um, but... Bible means a collection of books. It doesn't mean inspired by God or revealed by God. But I am definitely not denying that such things could be within that. Because it does seem that in these sacred history books of various sorts are fragments of what was revealed, fragments of true history of one sort or another, um, fragments of the inspired teachings of prophets, the experiences of mystics of one sort or another. Um, and it is up to us to determine the truth claims rather than, you know, just some priesthood authority. Is this the front sign? No, I guess not, but Ox Springs, I guess people meet on the other side too. So maybe there's class, they have classes on the other side. I haven't been in this building. But it's a really big building. Now one thing that you see nowadays is that religious buildings are made really big rather than providing maximum attendance through the week for smaller services or it's all about that giant service once a week and I'm all for the Matthew 16 18 so let's find out what that means that could be their the center of their creed there but you know, that's the whole sign of light. And I've spoken about the whole light bringer thing before. So what are you at your beginning? What are you at your end? Uh, what's the beginning of the revelation or the story for you? What do you say about the end of it? Um, the power and the purity in your life. Is it you or is it projected upon another? Um... What is the truth behind these various sacred texts? Both the ones I have listed and ones that definitely can be applied to the whole situation.